Hi, I'm Mark Edward Lewis, and welcome to Cinema Sound Studio B. You know, one of the banes of the post-production audio process is syncing the audio with the video from dual systems. And yeah, there's some great tools like, you know, uh, Pluralize, and, and non-linear editors now generally have a pretty good way of syncing, but not if you've got multiple tracks. If you've recorded eight discrete tracks, how do you get them all to sync? Or worse yet, if you were doing a multiple record system, where this one was recording it one, one way, and this one was recording on another way, and then you have the camera reference, man, you have to sit there and line each one up. Well, hopefully you'd recorded time code, but if you didn't, Adobe Premiere is probably the only nonlinear editor I know of that can sync wild tracks of any number of tracks deep in one go. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, now in Adobe Premiere, we are. Let's check out how easy it is to just do simple timeline syncing in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here I just select, so this is the camera reference. This here is from the secondary recorder. I just select what I want. I right click and or control click, however you want to do that. There's synchronize. From here, I can say, hey, look, if it's got time code, I can do that. Uh, or if there's a clip marker, I can say, hey, just sync to the clip start, clip end. I don't know why you want to do that. But for us, we want it to actually scan the audio of the files themselves. The reference will be channel one. That's this one here, uh, video track one, this A1, which is our reference. And we click OK. It does a lot of reading of files and things. Do, 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 do. And in moments, it will be in sync. Now, if you don't have audio that actually goes with it, it'll just say, hey, it can't be sunk. And then you go, oh, I'm trying to sync the wrong two things. But look at that. All happy and put together. And for our purposes, well, I'm playing all these guys too. That's hilarious. Do, do, do. How about we disable? Dubstep technique and mix. Cool. And we're good. You're hearing it through speakers right now, um, which is why it sounds lousy but definitely in sync to the frame. You can do that, what, in an awful lot of nonlinear editors that I can think of. But what makes Premiere Pro special is we can do this with, as far as I know, an unlimited amount of audio channels as long as they have, you know, the same audio. So look at this. Here's all these other audio tracks. We will re-enable them. And if I select all, here, I'll undo. We'll go back here. There. Now they're all kind of out of sync. I'm just going to select all of these guys, right click or control click. There's the synchronize again. Bang. Make sure it's on audio. Make sure the reference is the correct reference track, in this case, track one. Click OK. It'll read all of those files. And as long as they have, they'll, they were recorded at the same time, it will sync them together. Bang. Done. Something to note about Premiere, which I wish they would fix, but they haven't yet. If I have the audio file to the right of the reference, watch what happens. Make note. I hit OK. We talk about this in the Cinema Sound Education, but I want to make sure you see this here. It moves the video file to the audio. But if it's before the video file, and we do this, and we go bang, what do you think it'll happen? It will move the audio to the video. Gunk. So if you're trying to keep audio or trying to keep your video in the same space and move the audio, just make sure that the audio is ahead of the video. And that makes the same, it's the same thing if I have a majority of the audio files that I'm trying to sync behind or after, rather, if I do this, even though there's one ahead, watch what's going to happen. The majority of the audio files are after the video in the reference file. And chunk it moves the video file and if the majority of them oops if the majority of them are ahead of the video file then it will then move the audio kind of weird i'm not sure why that's cool i wish they would just always move the audio no matter what because i really don't want the video tracks moving there it moved the audio but anyway that's how you do sync in premiere pro in the timeline super dope Sure, there's nonlinear editors that will do a batch syncing of all kinds of audio tracks with your video reference, but only if they're stereo. The minute you get to three tracks that are needing to be synced, they all choke, except for Adobe Premiere. Now, you may not be able to do a batch for Adobe Premiere doing this way. Of course, it'll still do it with stereo, but not with multiple tracks. But at least, if you're recording eight or more tracks and you needed to select all and sync, 
This is how you do it. I'm Mark Edward Lewis, and uh, we hope to hear from you on the forum and seeing how this kind of sync technique works for you. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're stuck.